Good day, viewers. Welcome back again to another episode on Drop Tank Online Maths. Today, we shall discuss about multiplication of a 3 by 3 matrix, after which, we are going to do a scalar multiplication of matrix. So, if we have a, a matrix, 3 by 3 matrix, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and another matrix. B, which is also a 3 by 3, equal to L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. To multiply this matrix, just like we did earlier on in 2 by 2 matrix, this means that A multiplied by A, multiplied by B rather, is equal to we are going to do row and column, multiplication through by row and column. The first row multiply the first column. The second row multiply, that's how we are going to be doing. So let's start. A multiplies L, A L, plus B multiplies O, B O, plus C multiplies R, C R. Now we're done with one element. Now we go again. A multiplies M, A M, plus B multiplies P, B P, plus C multiply S, C S. We go again. A will multiply M, A N, plus B will multiply Q. B, Q, plus C will multiply T, C, T. Then we go back to the second row. B multiplies L, D, L, plus E multiplies O, E, O, plus F multiply R, F, R. And we go to the second column. D multiplies M, D, M, plus E multiplies P, E P plus F multiply F S, F S. And we go to the third column. D multiplies N, D N plus E multiplies Q, E Q plus F multiply T, F T. Simple as that. Then G multiplies L, the third row, first column. G multiplies L. GL plus H multiply O, H O plus I multiply R, I R. And we go to the second column. G multiplies M, G M plus H multiply P, H P plus I multiply S, I S. Then we go to the third column. G multiplies M, G N plus H multiplies Q, H Q. Plus I multiply T, I T. Now, if you can be able to do such, you have already done the multiplication of a 3 by 3 matrix. Now, let us take an example and see it together. Now, suppose, suppose we have a given matrix A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And another matrix B equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1. We are asked to multiply these two matrices. What we are going to do is say A multiplied by B is the same thing as the way we did this. 1 will multiply 1, which is 1, plus 2 multiply 0, which is 0, plus 3 will multiply 1, which is 3. Then we go to the next column. 1 will multiply 0, which is 0, plus 2 will multiply 2, which is 4, plus 3 will multiply 3, which is 9. Then we go to the third column. 1 will multiply 1, which is 1, plus 2 will multiply 1, which is 2, plus 3 will multiply 1, which is 3. Now we go to the second row. 
4 multiplies 1, which is 4, plus 5 multiplies 0, which is 0, plus 6 multiplies 1, which is 6. And we go to the second column. 4 multiplies 0, which is 0, plus 5 multiplied 2, which is 10, plus 6 multiplied 3, which is 18. And we go to the third column. 4 multiply 1, which is 4. 5 multiply 1, which is 5. 6 multiply 1, which is 6. And lastly, 7 multiply by 1 is 7. Plus 8 multiply by 0 is 0. Plus uh, 9 multiply by 1 is 9. Go to the second column. 7 multiply by 0 is 0. Plus 8 multiply by 2 is 16. Plus 9 multiply by 3 is 27. And go to the last column. 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. 8 multiplied by 1 is 8. Plus 9 multiplied by 1 is 9. So as simple as that. Now the next thing we are going to do is to sum up everything here. 1, one plus 0 plus 3. If we are able to do so, we will get the product of A and B. Alright, finally, A, B will be equal to 1 plus 0 plus 3 is 4. 0 plus 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 0 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 18 is 28. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. 7 plus 0 plus 9 is, is 16. And 16 plus 27 will give us. And 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 9 is 24. Very simple. I hope everything is clear and simple. Uh, this is Dr. An Online Mass. Don't forget to share to your friends and colleagues. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on metrics and determinants. Thank you for watching.